New at five, more Boeing bungles. New reports reveal Boeing quality control troubles run deeper than initially disclosed. And now deadly for a whistleblower who publicly raised doubts about the company's production standards. Our chief transportation correspondent and pilot, Make A. Beeler, joining us now. Make A. Very serious here. First, who was the whistleblower? Yeah, this is disturbing. The deceased whistleblower is John Barnett, a former quality control manager at Boeing 787 plant in Charleston. Well, he was found shot dead after he failed to show up for his third day of testimony in a staggering lawsuit against Boeing in which he raised shocking safety concerns. Now, Barnett alleged the company adopted a dangerous corner cutting philosophy, rushing to get planes pushed out the door and make the cash register ring. It was in the parking lot of the hotel where Barnett was staying during the deposition where he was found dead in his truck. The Charleston County coroner described the death as a apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. But Barnett's attorney told TMZ he has explicit doubt about the circumstances and called the self-inflicted gunshot alleged. Barnett isn't the first Boeing whistleblower to take on the airplane giant. Ed Pearson is one of many employees who have sounded the alarm. I started seeing a lot of problems in the factory. This was in 2018 and uh, we just saw a deterioration of quality, and and meanwhile the, the airplanes are being rushed out the door. There's huge pressure from corporate headquarters to get these planes out the door, and employees are tired, they're fatigued, they're making mistakes. There's not enough of them, uh, parts issues, all, all kinds of issues. It was absolute chaos. All right, so the door that blew out of the Alaska Airlines 737 MAX 9 plane happened in January. Anything new that you can tell us about that? Yeah, so the NTSB and the FAA are not happy because they want to see maintenance records. Did you inspect that door or not? Because four bolts were missing. We want to see the maintenance records, the maintenance logbooks, and they haven't been shown. They can't find them. Are they missing? Did someone hide them? Maybe they never did the records. So uh, the FAA chief, Mike Whitaker, said, look, you've got 90 days to get your ducks in a row. We need a report on how you're going to improve things. And we want to see the records. Mm -hmm. So what about other Boeing issues? Because it feels like there's a growing list. Yeah, so just yesterday, there was a Chile airline mm -hmm. uh, that apparently had a sudden movement. And passengers who weren't wearing seatbelts hit the ceiling, 50 people were hurt. And allegedly the captain came, it was just brief, temporary. Allegedly after that, the captain came out, according to a passenger and told everyone, oh, I uh, lost control of the aircraft momentarily because an instrument failed. That's not something mm -hmm. you want to hear. Who does that? Who says that? Mm -hmm. Now, was it a problem with the autopilot? Did, was it human error where the pilot made a move with the autopilot? Does the pilot even know? Uh, right, mm -hmm. or is it, is it an issue? If it's right. an issue, well, Boeing needs to investigate. God forbid that happens again, mm -hmm. because the MAX 37, the MAX 8s mm -hmm. in uh, 2018 and 19, they had a flight control issue. Mm -hmm. So, oh boy, that's scary. Now, remember another Boeing plane lost a tire the other day. Yeah. That's not a Boeing issue. That's a maintenance issue, just like you maintain your car. Mm -hmm. Right. That, right. And then we saw an engine on fire uh, just yesterday, I think. Well, it's because it ingested bubble wrap. That's a trash issue on the runway. Mm -hmm. It's a trash issue. That's not a Boeing issue. So, uh, you know, a lot going on here. I like it's how you hard. break it down that way, though, because you have to be fair. You know, these aren't all yeah. Boeing issues. Yeah. I can't wait to be able to hear more about the investigation into the whistleblower to allegedly I had a self-inflected gunshot wound. It's disturbing. I mean, just to be able to find out more on that case. Yeah, what the truth is. What the truth really is. Yeah. Thank you, Mickey. Appreciate Thank it. You. Always.